yeah, mistakenly taps the um, stop button once again. Okay, so let's <laughs> paste this back in again and come back to our web page, refresh it, and our buttons are there again. And it says um, bell not found. Okay, so where do we use bell? Um, let's refresh this again. Where am I asking for bell? So bell PNG, let's have a search for this. Bell PNG, who's using this thing? Oh look there, icon, so let's remove that. Refresh that, that's all good again, and all of our buttons are there. And let's just cut this in, pull this in a little bit more. Yes. Okay, good stuff. So now we've um, uh, we've done this one. Let's see what else we've we've got to do. So logo, no, and oh, I've did profile navbar um, already, and navbar line will will keep there. So it seems to be kind of a little bit more structured um, now as it is. Um, okay, so. Now, now at least as we as we go along, um, we don't have to be working with this huge index.html. It's only like thirty-four uh, lines along now, and if we do need to work in the followers box, then we can work in the followers box. Now, I said that we would um, start to do this um, this comment this comment box here uh, next. So um, let's let's do that, shall we? Um, Okay, so let's create, uh, before I do that, I wanna just come here and then to get master, so added all other templates. And let's push this back again. I've been, I've been submitting it to, to GitHub all the time. So, um, yeah, so that's all working now. Good, so now let's do the uh, tweet box. Yeah, if you do this, then we'll call, whoops, we'll call that the tweet modal, and that can then include the tweet box as well, all right? So this is the tweet modal, and this box inside is the tweet box, and this is then the tweet box here. So let's make a new module and we'll then call this the tweet box and we'll then make CSS file say tweet box dot CSS. Let's come to index.html and add our tweets box tweet box h uh, css so that's now there and i'm kind of guessing that we're going to need a javascript file for it as well but we'll leave that for the time being um, that's in the navbar can go the app.js can go the tweet css can be there and we need new file tweetsbox.html and let's just say tweetsbox content. We don't want to say wrapper because the, the place where this is being loaded is essentially the wrapper. All right, so we'll just say, call it the content. And let's make here, so we say height 200. Background, color, turquoise, uh, width equals 100%. All right, let's come to here, and it was in our main body in column two. So we want to come here and copy this here.
and we'll leave the class empty for now. There we are, we'll leave it empty for now. And we'll change this to tweetbox. Tweetbox HTML. Now let's refresh this. Modules tweetbox tweetbox HTML was not found. So what a tweetbox tweetbox HTML modules tweetbox HTML. Oh look, crazy. Why is that one? Why did that happen there? Weird. Seems to have made another modules folder inside the modules folder. Let's delete that. Is it all there still? Yeah. So let's refresh. Okay, and there it is. All right, there's our tweet box, which is all good. Um, yeah, let's continue. I've got another idea that we could, what we could do, but let's continue. So this is kind of separated into, I would say, 70, no, just like 50%, 60, let's say 60, 40 here. So let's make two boxes. And uh, so tweet box, uh, this is then gonna be message area message input area. So tweet box message input area. And then we're gonna say then message tweet box. So tweet box toolbar, uh, yeah, toolbar area. And why I say we're gonna do area is because it actually holds a little bit more, more things. So, um, if you hadn't guessed it already, we're then going to say templates, modules, this here, this here, dot HTML, and I'm going to create another one. New folder, tweetbox area, yeah, that can stay there, and then new file. So this is then tweet box area. And so close this HTML down. Modules tweet box input area. Modules tweet box input area and then HTML. So let's come to our page here. And we've got our tweet box area. Yeah, once again. So all nice and handy here. And let's do the same with our Tweetbox toolbar area, but for the sake of simplicity this time, uh, let's open up this terminal again and let's make directory modules. This here, let's touch this, this HTML, and then CSS that there. It's all good, and then we'll. Uh, with this here twice, copy that, that one there, that one there, and this one's then called rename that one, come to here, pop that in there. Pop that in there. And create that file. So uh, now they're both there. So let's refresh this. We're not getting any, any problems here either. Right. So now we've got this. And let's create our template. Here, which is then called the tweet box toolbar area. Yep. Yeah. 
and do that there. And toolbar area. Save this, come here, and we've got our both our areas now. Alright. So let's come back to our tweet box. So we've got our contents and then we need two of these. One is then our tweet box. This one with a dash message input area and I set high 